Our project name is the Ultimate Cornhole. I'll start with the rules of cornhole. The objective of the game is to get to 21 points. You get points by getting bean bags, wherever that is. Uh, uh, on the surface is one point, and in the hole is three. Okay. There's two team. There's two players. Uh, each has four bean bags, and they alternate throws. Um, the way the scoring works is uh, you minus points. So say player one gets five points, player two gets two. Player one actually gets three points at the end of the round, and player two gets zero. You have to get 21 exactly. If you go over, you go back down to 17, and Joe's going to talk about adjusting that score you go back down to later. And so as soon as you flip on the on switch, the uh, drawer will come out, and you can retrieve your bean bags. So that's just how it starts. So you take your bean bag out, and then on this LCD, it's a uh, serial backlit controlled, so using serial communication from a pick. So then uh, we have multi levels, so one is adjust score, two is new game, three is end game, and four is close drawer, so we're going to click four right now. So I'll close, close the drawer back up. When you make a score, you can go to adjust score, and then you can pick from either player one or player two, and it shows your scores right next to them. So let's go to player one real quick. And then you can increment your point levels by going the up and down arrows. So you can, let's say, um, we can add whatever, but let's say let's go over 21. So let's go to 22. And it will, uh, and if I click enter, it'll see that it went over 21. And so if you go back to adjust score and you see your point level, it's at 17 now. But we can actually go back to the main menu and we can go down to a second uh, sub menu on the main menu and you can go to, there's music settings, preferences, and open drawer. So we can go to preferences right now by clicking six. And then you can have score preferences or audio preferences. So let's do score preferences. And uh, right now it says, if score is over 21, reset score to 17. And so you can uh, increment or decrement that number to whatever one you want. So for the audio circuits, we have uh, two front speakers or forward speakers. We have uh, a file that plays when the uh, three-point tr trigger is tri tripped, <laughs> and uh, we um, so basically that and that actually is tied into the I uh, audio circuit for the iPod or phone or any kind of external source. And so as soon as you make it through the three-point hole, if the audio is playing through the iPod or phone, it'll shut off the audio circuit, play the sound for the three-point hole and then it will turn back on the audio circuit. Yeah. So let's uh, turn on the audio for the iPod. So we also had a little interactive LED feature. So um, every time the beanbag goes up the board, the lights will follow its path. The lights are all off, as you can see, like in a nighttime application, the whole board will light up. Each square is a little comparator, and it just compares the voltages. And we have photoresistors to um, adjust the voltage based on where the beam bag is. Yeah. Do you see that? So, music's gone. Square is a, a cluster, so one sensor for 12 LEDs, and there's 32 clusters of LEDs. So for the actuator back there, we're using a 250 pound hood actuator, and it's running a four bar linkage, so it's a crank slider that runs the drawer. The throw on the actuator is two inches, but it actually moves the drawer 12 inches, and that's the purpose of the crank slider. Right here we've got the H-bridge circuit that runs the, uh, that's got a slave pick that talks to the master pick, which is over here. So all these, all this circuitry right here runs the actual software at the LCD screen. Um, and then the audio circuit is back here, and that is the one, what runs the iPod audio. 
and then we've got an audio board which actually runs the sound files for the trip sensor of the three-point sensor.